Hello, I'm going to talk about comparison operators and if else statements. First of all, let's look at some code here. We have var is fcc great, and I've set this variable, here's how we declare a variable, here's the name of the variable, we've set that to be equal to true. So now look, this is the if statement down here, if, and then in parentheses we put something that we're testing. We're just going to put this variable, which we've set to true. So if whatever's in here, which we have as is FCC great, if this is true, we are going to do whatever is in these brackets. So what's in this bracket is console.log free code camp is amazing. So if we run that, it is going to say free code camp is amazing. However, if we change this to false, and we, I'm going to clear the console and run that again, it's not going to do anything because since this is false, it's not going to do what's in the brackets. But to be able to see that better, I'm going to add an else. So else, so I'm going to just copy this, I'm going to paste it down here and put horrible and we're going to run that. So if this is true, it's going to do what's in the first brackets. But when we have else, else means if it's false, it's going to do what's in the second brackets. However, we better change this back to true before Quincy sees it. And there, there, that's what it should say. Free code camp is amazing. Okay, now we're going to talk about comparison operators. Comparison operators are more than less than, less than or equal to, more than or equal to, equals equals, which just means equals, or not equals. The less than or more than symbols. The way I remember which one is which is if you see the less than symbol kind of looks like the letter L. The less than symbol opens the same direction as a capital L, which is the first letter in the word less than. So let's put in some code here to test these out. I put age equals 18, and if age is greater than or equal to 18, so if it's 18 or any number more than 18, we're going to console.log you are an adult. Let me run that, and it says you are an adult. Now this is where we can use some, some else if statements. Uh, that's a new thing I want to show you, else if. Now before, it's either two things. It's either we're either doing one thing or we're doing the other thing. But else if, we're going to do something if age is more than or equal to 18. Else if, now this may not always happen depending on what's in the, the parentheses for the if. We're going to say age is less than 18. And I'm just going to copy this up here. You are a child. If we if we run this, it's just going to be pretty similar. It's just going to say you are an adult. But if I change this to one, and we run that, it's going to say you are a child. Let's try it, put another thing in here. Else if so we're going to say else if age is less than two, console.log you are a baby. And this is going to give me a good chance to show you something else. If I click run it's going to say you are a child. It's not going to say you are a baby. Even though the age is 1, the age is less than 2, but it's not saying you are a baby because once the program evaluates one of these, it stops evaluating. So look at this. Else if age is less than 18, console.log you are a child. Now that this has been evaluated, it's just not going to even check any of the other items. So it's not even going to check this. That's why it can be very important the order you put things. So for this example, we probably want to put this up here. I'm just copying and pasting here. And now we're going to check about the age being less than 2 first, and then check if the age is less than 18. And that should do more of what we're trying to get at here. And now it is going to say you are a baby. If we change this to 10, um, it's going to say, let's see, you are a child. And it's still going to say, any, say anything above 18. It's going to say you are an adult. So let's check a few more things. We're going to show the equal equals and the not equals. And change this to 18. And we're going to try that. We're going to run that. You are 18. So it says if age 
equals equals 18 console.log you are 18 so the important thing about this is that to check if something is equal you always use two equal signs because if you only use one equal sign that's an assignment operator and now we are going to set the variable age to be equal to 18 instead of checking to see if age does equal 18 now something interesting about that is that it's still gonna put true because whenever you set a variable equal to a number it's always going to evaluate as true but now later in the program if if we have it started at 10 and then we're going to set it to 18 now age is going to equal 18 so you want to make sure you always use two equal signs that's how you test if something is equal there's also a comparison operator with three equal signs equals 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 I'm going to talk about that in a future video for now the last one I want to show you is the not equal so if you put the exclamation point right before if age does not equal 18 we're going to say you are not 18 let me clear the console and we're going to run that and it's going to say you are not 18 okay well those are if and else statements and comparison operators thanks for watching my name is Bo Carnes Check the description for links and more information. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.